everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I'm Stobby149. It's a lovely Sunday morning. Let's do some dungeon crawling in Stobby's Hamlet of Happy Times. Where nothing ever goes wrong and no one ever gets horribly murdered or dies of stress. It'll be fine. We're still in the early game grind. Not much has happened. We've had, I think, two or three good uh, dungeon crawls so far. Particularly episode 2 I think went rather well. We had a very early on medium run which can be bloody disastrous but we've lucked out in terms of what we picked up in the stagecoach. We got I think a hit of like three barbarians in a row which is just ridiculous. I luck. see something long absent in the sunken faces of passers-by. A glimmer of hope. I mean I was gonna just rinse and repeat and uh, get rid of all these level zeros just get fresh ones but we've gotten such good heroes I mean Inkevolt, I think he's done very well. Ruins Tactician is great. Warren the Scrounger, awesome. One of these actually has Iron Swan. There you go, Pico has Iron Swan, which is awesome. And four barbarians, that's gonna set us up, I think. 23 grand, nice. I think we upgraded, yes, the Abbey. Or oh, flagellation. Get going, do another medium if we can. Hell, we might even take on the Sorceress's Apprentice, the Necromancer Apprentice, but I think that uh, might be a little too ambitious. Occultist gear, meh. Damage versus Eldritch, nah. Plus dodge, meh. Alien, I wouldn't mind. Bleed skill chance. That's better. Bloody herb, we'll hardly ever use it on the on the Witch Doctor, but we'll sell that for almost two thousand, I think. Arbalest, that's what's actually really tempting me. Because our Arbalest can just sit at the back and just, she's going to use her, her uh, bandage quite a lot. So I think let's try that one. Gather three holy relics. That's not the best. Let's sort by level here. Okay, so I think we'll take Gilpin. Satanophobia, Stealth Wish, that's fine. Warren is best for her. Our only other healer is in stress relief right now. And I'd prefer not to do a uh, run without a healer. You really do need them. Reynard, of course, come along. You should always go to ruins. And then we'll take... Why don't we take both the Beastmasters out? Houndmasters. Hmm. I just want the two level zeros to get some experience, really. We'll take one and a, bar and a Hellion. We've got so many Hellions. Unholy hate, I can always take her. Catral, no, no, no. Well, Ruins Tactician, yes, let's take her. I'll leave her in the number two spot. Because she can always break through if she needs to get forward. That's all fine. Okay, good. Actually, I should maybe take a little look-see. Whether I can upgrade the Guildmaster yet. We'll take him on a Warren's run and Mamino will come with us here. Range skill, nice. Little trinkets do we have? Healing, very important. Houndmaster carry the plus HP. Debuff resist, does anybody have particularly low debuff? I don't think so. 30%, 40, 40, 30, 40. Okay, so you carry the debuff resist. Dodge is fine. No one else can use any of that stuff anyway. Uh, have we upgraded? We haven't have. Open. Fantastic. Yep, I know, I can swap them out, thank you. Judgment, definitely. Dazzling Light, I quite like. Minus Dodge is actually going to be better, just for the Ruins, because those uh, bloody Bone Courtiers have quite a bit of Dodge. Holy Lance, if we ever find ourselves getting pushed back. Little Walk of Faith. Meh. Inspiring Cry. Maybe. But, nah, I think Holy Lance, Stunning Blow, Zealous Accusation, and Smite are the skills. 
Definitely Iron Swan, that changes things. I can put her in a number one position, then a Wicked Hack definitely Breakthrough and Adrenaline Rush. And then Mamino. He's going to be in a number three role, so we won't put Blackjack on him just yet. Guard Dog is actually very nice, but he can't upgrade anything just yet. He's level zero. Alrighty, let's provision and get out there. We're gathering three Holy Relics, so we're not going to go too heavy on, on our Curios, because we're not going to have the space to carry them all. Remember that we have two dog treats, we should use those. I always forget to use those dog treats. So we're going to camp once, that's camp food, and then I think we need 12 on top of that, just to expect that we might have to eat three times. Take three ruins, so let's take three keys. Uh, do we have anything that stops bleeding? She can clot herself. Uh, let's, let's leave the bandages. Take two extra holy waters and then eight torches. And that, I think, is about... I'm not going to bother with medicinal herbs, really. Using them on the alchemy table doesn't really give great great rewards. Using them on the on the Iron, Laid, Iron Maiden is quite good. Just, maybe just take one. Your, your, real, your real benefits from Ruin Runs are Holy Waters and Skeleton Keys. Anti-Venom. You can get poison from, from, from spiders and whatnot, but... Eh. Where's my book? I've kept a little book with my notes of how all the curios interact throughout playing. I recommend you guys do the same. Alternatively, there's a pretty good... Where is it? It's a Steam community guide to all the curios. There is power in symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of faith and give comfort to the masses. Curio guide is called Curio Guide by Lane. That's L-A-Y-N. Which has all of the different curios and how they interact. Alrighty then, let's make sure everyone has the correct skills equipped first of all. So she's going to be almost always opening up with Iron Swan. Then, probably if it bleeds for a number 3 spot. Then Wicked Hack, then Adrenaline Rush, but that means we don't have Breakthrough. Hmm. And honestly, I think I'm going to take Breakthrough over if it bleeds, because if she gets pushed back, then she can just uh, rush forward. Get back to number 1 spot. Holy Lance has been, I think, nerfed pretty hard because it used to be able to cast ball from the second position, only from the third now. Not ideal. What we can do though is we'll just have to keep swapping them back and forward. We'll start the fight like this, so that means he can Holy Lance up. And then he can smite Zealous Accusation and Stunning Blow. Yep, that's all fine. That's a very nice little skill. And so is that. That's an awesome camping skill. Anything that changes surprise, I think, are the best skills. That's all good. And uh, Gilpin, you are primarily a healer. Smarter. And a... Uh, I should have leveled up Illumination. Okay, well, she'll just be chucking out the heals and the smarts. Off we go! So, it's, I think it's run this bit here, and then we'll camp on the way back. I'm going to leave bookshelves. Bookshelves and piles of books have about a 50-50 chance whether it's going to be to life a debuff or a buff. With a singular purpose. God, that's a lot of stress. Okay, spiders and maggots. Can you kill a maggot straight up? I was hoping she could have smacked the smacked the spider. Oh well. We got God, these aliens hit hard. I love them. They're great. Let me know. Dodge. Let me know. Ouch. Resist. Good resisting. I think that counts off uh, stun resist as opposed to debuff resist. God, he's getting so unlucky with his with his hits. We guard him just to make sure he doesn't take any more damage. Nah, he'll be fine. Good doggy. Oh, one damage. Okay, that'll not just quite die just yet. He can't actually holy lance. Shuffle. Oh, good. Awesome. Tiny bit of stress heal. Needed more though. Executed with impunity. 
A fine striker guild pin. Aha! To the pit. 20, 25 guilders. Promises success. Oh, that's stress. We really have to hope we can come across a confessional booth. Oh yeah, he's a klepto, this guy. Damn it. That's not too much of a loss. In terms of building upgrades, I'm gonna chuck everything into the abbey first, into the flagellation hall. And then we'll get uh, guild hall and blacksmith upgraded, and then I want to get the sanitarium prioritized as soon as I can. Just being able to remove all the negative debuffs is really, really important. Mechanical hazards. Perfect. Possessed by evil no. intent. No, damn it! That's exactly why. Now she's gonna use it. I mean, that's fine, extra damage on her, but I think if we had used Holy Water, that could have taken like 50 of his stress away. I'm gonna keep the light above 75. Nothing really. Thirty percent, eighty percent, sixty. It's tempting to tip, to let Reynard try to get some stress, but only sixty percent. That's too risky. I think I'll I, I'll back Mamino. Job. I haven't had a chance to use that new class yet. Class yet, the antiquarians. So I quite look forward to seeing what they can do. This should be a big battle, so we'll use. Okay, no, All right, just just a idol. Huzzah. Success, friends. We press forward. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Earn. Cash money. Oh, that's crap, though. Those are 500 each, so those are pretty good. The bandage is going to be useful. I'm good, no problem. Hang on to the. I need the last four torches for the last leg of the journey. It's gonna get dark here. That one is. That shouldn't be a battle. That should just be another relic. Awesome. We'll grab that the way back. Another relic. Awesome. If we get lucky, we could have all three. A fortune waiting to be spent. I can't afford to have too many of those obstructions. Oh, curses! Don't be surprised, don't be surprised! Ooh. Okay, good. God, I hate these things. They're so fast, so they're guaranteed to get these tempting goblets off. But we have Holy Lance, we have... Uh, Hounds Harry is good too, Hounds Rush. We're gonna focus these two at the back. This is why we put him there. Another well done. Abomination. If we get lucky here. From our lands. Uh, see, that was actually stupid on my part. Knowing that she had Iron Swan, I should have had these two focus that one. Mistakes were made, friends. I can break through. But it's not gonna do the required damage. So I'll just smash one of these. Another one falls. And no need to chuck out Divine Comfort. We're gonna heal all of that when we can. I like this party setup. Everyone can hit the people at the back. Dodge. Another smite, six damage. Huzzah! Onslaught. God, Gilpin's a badass. Them all. Indeed. Let us guard no one. We'll just bite. I thought maybe of using guard dog until I use another turn for heals, but there's no need. Just smash him. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. So there's no need to even hold on to Citrine or Jade, we're just going to end up chucking it away. Slightly ajar, so no need to use a key. Completely empty. Balls. Sucks about this uh, dungeon loud, we have to backtrack one, two, three, four, five balls. Ah, oh, look at that, it's causing food as well, we're going to run out of food. Given that it's locked. That's a good, awesome haul. Fuck away the jade. Useless shite. 
if we get unlucky, we'll get ambushed as well. We're not going to spend torches now, so we'll be walking back in the pitch dark. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. It's been a somewhat... Oh, here we go. Hopefully it won't be a big battle. It is. Oh, damn it. So much stress. God, the stress. Alrighty. I don't really see the point in using stun. Just bite everyone, honestly. Oh, damn it. Good, not too much damage. That's fine, fine with that. Awesome dodge, Mamino. Oh. There we go. As the enemy crumbles. Just got to take away their ability to do stress damage. Like this. Oh. Good, he'll be dead in the next turn and we can just shut down the damage now. Ouch. We've been very lucky. Both those coral hits hit from essentially zero damage. Again, I forgot to use the, uh, the dog's biscuits. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Let's go with a stun. And get a round of heals out. Slowly. Yeah, boy. This is how a life is taken. And yeah. Oh, four. Nice. Good damage. Oh, good healing, I mean. If we can get one more Vestal plus healing skill, we'll be in a very good spot. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. But I need to uh, keep upgrading. Okay, so who doesn't Remind want to be moved? Remind yourself overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Four speed, three speed. I don't mind if these two get moved. Uh, let's, yeah, let's put it on uh, Gilpin. Her speed isn't, still isn't too terrible. Can we chuck anything away for gold? No. We really need to camp and focus on, uh, on, on de-stressing. Which sucks because we're not going to then be able to use the Houndmaster, Scout Chance and... Uh, and uh, Surprise Chance. On the plus side... It's a gather relics mission, so if we get the relic there, then we can just, you know, bust out and, uh, and escape if we need to. I really hope that's a confessional booth. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Very dark. It's been quite a while since I've thought that dark runs have been really viable. I mean, you can't do them, but they're just they're hard as balls. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Alrighty, so Hounds Watch. Scouting Chance is nice. Taking Scouting Chance is a gamble on the high reward, because if we can find a secret chamber here, that's like seven and a half grand. It doesn't work, though. Could help us decide where to knock. Mm, that's a bit. Crit is great. Battle Trance is also great. But Encourage, I think, is the most important. 52, 52. Yeah, it's using that Encourage as well. That it, let's just use all these Encouragers first. So he's religious, they're not religious. If not religious, it's 5 and. Mm, that's actually pretty damn good, but. If religious, prevents nighttime ambush. I wonder if that means... I've never actually used Sanctuary. No one has Mortality debuffs, that's a bit of a waste. Let's first just throw out all of these Encouragers. 42, 40, 37, 37. I think I actually... Yeah, I have to take this, because that, that one gives us Scouting plus a Prevent Nighttime Ambush. And if we can maybe throw out... Uh, a pep talk. 
That really sucks. We couldn't use any offensive skills, but I think it was important to get the stress down here. Everyone is super stressed out. Shouldn't get ambushed because of the Houndmaster skill. The way is lit. The path is clear. We keep we our torches only the nice and bright. To it. Have to remember to use these uh, dog treats now. Yep, we'll definitely use dog treat here. And we get the surprise. That's why we use that skill. Um, um, um. Nice la. We hounds rush there. Learn from our mistake the last battle. Have at you! Oh. I said, have at you, fiend! Struck low. Ha ha! A mighty blow. Good dodging, friend. Another bite. Good damage. And let's get a stun. And a heal. Nice. Everyone's nice and fully healed. Still the stress. We haven't taken any stress damage. Hitting that surprise is just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful work, team. Success so clearly in view. Remember to shuffle or back. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Excellent. Now what do we chuck this out for? The medicinal herbs. Shift click to discard. Huzzah! Good, so we can leave whenever we need to. Oh, the bandages would have been a better discard tool. I'm just going to organize my inventory here in terms of how much I, I value what we have. So, money, money, money. Crests, very important, of course. We're trying to upgrade our stagecoach. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly. Awesome! Goods. And we surprised him. We'll get a nice curio out of this. Another curio. Can he be bled? He can be bled. That's only one point, no. You know what? I'm gonna use the dog treat again and just smash this fool. He's pretty much impossible to stun. Uh, 50%. Ah, oh, see, unlucky. That's the downside of using that tactic, the Holy Lance tactic. We're just going to focus him down and not worry about his uh, his minions. Because, I mean, he can... You can spend your whole turns trying to get rid of these minions. Oh, that's annoying, though. See, we need damage over time and bleeds to get through that guard. No, don't heal him, you... Plus damage, plus accuracy. Wow, that really sucks. So 25% protection. What do we do here? Plus damage, plus accuracy. How long does that last? She's already got minus stress. Should we just invest in an adrenaline rush and then start smashing? I think so. This is going to be a long battle, so I think adrenaline, adrenaline rush is going to be a worthwhile investment. It's for three comp, three rounds. That's fair enough. Judgment will be reduced by the man-at-arms. Yeah, we're going to have to kill this man-at-arms. I'm going to use Zealous Accusation just to spread the damage a bit. And Hounds Harry, can these all be bled? They can all be bled, so I might as well. Precision and power. Awesome. This guy normally does big damage. Oh, that hurts! And the bleed. Well, we have a we have a, uh, a bandage. Oh, that means he takes the guard off of the tollkeeper, so we have to get back to smashing the tollkeeper. Oh, we needed a crit there. Still 10, 10 damage is very good. Two bleeds, not that bad. Just gotta focus down this bloody tollkeeper. 
collector, I mean. Ouch. Yeah, Gilpin has to start. But this should be a big hit. 9 to 17. 15 points of damage. Awesome. Just throw out the heals, love. Two points. Let's go ahead and bandage. And should we just try go for the smite? Uh, awesome, good, well done. Our team is performing admirably well. Another vicious fight. We'll be down very soon. Three damage, seven hit points. So one more punch onto the collector, and then he'll bleed to death on the next turn. We can't wicked hack him, so we'll just use that. Yeah, he's dead. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Well, we've taken plenty of damage here. Ouchie. Of all the collector skills we get, I really hope we get the plus healing. Wow, 75 protection. That's pretty damn big. We don't have any skills to remove that protection yet. I believe the Houndmaster's Hunt reduces protection. Yeah, Target Whistle. I'll definitely be investing in that. That is accusation! Points left. Just passes. Interesting. Very interesting. Awesome. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Cash money. The best kind of money. Cash money. No. Hmm. Hounds rush on the, the point the number three because the Holy Lance will go into the guy the four position and Iron Iron Swan will go in the four position. Uh, do we judgment? I think we do just to make sure that we kill this thing sharpish. Ha! A fine strike. Ouch. God, he's taking a lot of damage here. Oh, Crusaders are the best in the ruins. I think his, his skills all do damage plus unholy. Yeah, time to dodge Reynold here. He's in a bit of trouble. Iron Swan is pointless, let's just kill Bone Soldier and it's just this Bone Rebel. We can just tank his damage while healing. Ouch. Good job. Ooh. Uh, Again. Just playing with fire a little bit here. You know what? Let's just smash it. Our inventory is nice and full. We can start getting out of here pretty soon. Ghoulish horrors. Chase with your family is sigil. Driven into the mud. Do we use a key? We do, considering that there's not that much left to explore. Uh, these hidden compartments, it's almost... Oh, it just never seems worth it. Anything worth replacing? No. Press on, companions. Go around here. This has been another fine dungeon raid. Things have been going suspiciously well so far. Oh. Bone courtiers are the worst. Should we just... No, I'm gonna Hounds Harry. I was considering blackjacking one of these two just to mitigate some damage, but obviously, you know, she couldn't use Iron Swan, so... Uh, yeah, just... 
mentioning those bone, bone courtiers has to be your number one uh, objective. Mortality Ouchie. clarified in a single strike. You resist the bleed at least. I didn't want to just pass his turn because passing the turn would give him stress. Good dodging. Let's see. Good smashing. Healing. More. Mm, fighting. And can we get a stun out for an extra round of heals? We can. Nice. Oh, wonderful crit. Executed. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I really hope that we can actually get some jesters. I like jesters, particularly to take them to the uh, the Warrens, where you face so much stress damage. That's a nice little set of curios there. We'll definitely be fighting that battle, so we'll go like that. Or oh, up. Do we have a spade? We do. Good. So we can go. We can do the whole dungeon. I think we should keep an eye on the stress. It still seems pretty manageable, particularly if one of these two curios is a stress removal curio. Not. We'll key that for damn sure. A handsome reward for a task well performed. 70, 80. Same story as last time. Nope. You shan't tempt me, knowledge. I think let's burn the rest of our torches. We'll leave one for that final battle. Oh, a surprise bonus. Okay, good. No stress damage. That's really what I was worried about. We could take a lot of damage here, yeah? but we got we got pretty good heals. Ouch, look at that. Seven damage. Wow. Oh, good damage. Gilpin. Normally I want to crank out a heal here, but if I can get a, a judgment out before that guy gets a shot, there we go. In the initial rounds, damage mitigation should take priority over, uh, over heals. Like once you've turned the tide of a battle, then you start cranking out the heals. Oh! Oh, we spun quite low on that heal there. Big dodge! Ah, oh, big crit. Unbalanced. Let's get around it. Another try to spam another round of heals. Three, it's pretty good. Aha! These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. A fine haul, friends. We want to keep the holy water for sure. It's actually quite a tough choice, and we need the spade for that final... Okay, let's, let's get rid of the spade. We'll go down there, we'll interact with those two, and then we'll just backtrack and then go through there. That lets us take the extra two deeds. I believe will be well worth it. Just really hope some of these curios are going to be... Stress relief. Nope. Do we even have a key? No, so we, we can crack it open, but whoever has the best bleed resist should do it. Because this normally gives a bleed effect. 40%. 40%, so it should be... Well, it is trapped though, so I wonder if... Let's have Mamino do it, because he's got a decent bleed resist and a pretty decent trap resist as well. Oh, it gets blighted. I could have used the spade to smash it as well, but where was he? Just chuck the spade away. Hunger, no problem. I very much doubt we'll hit another hunger. Don't steal it, you bastard. 
wealth beyond measure. Oh, he nicks quite a lot there. Awarded to the brave and yeah, the we definitely need to heal that Teptomaniac. That's cost us about two thousand already this run. Okay, so 60, 80, 70. Yes, job. Back up, everyone. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Look at that heaving with treasure. Oh, that's a, could have done with that a little while ago. Is it even worth keeping? No, because there's no curios to interact with. We don't have any torches, do we? No. We might as well use the holy water just to stop him from. We'll mitigate some of the stress damage he could have taken here, but obviously there's no stress dam stress dealing minions. Ah, spiders. Such buggers. Ah. Oh. Damn and blast. Hounds Harry. And it dodges. Grave nibble. Stun resist. Good resisting. Nibble dodge. Zealously accused. Well done. I think that's it, friends. We've got through it. Aha! Another that's fine adventure, friends. But a victory nonetheless. The abbot will be grateful. The trappings of his faith have been restored. It would be pretty cool if this quest event, the uh, Give Holy Relics, gave some sort of buff to the abbey for a week or two. Resolve level getting up, which actually becomes a problem after a while. If you have... Mm, if you have very, very high level... Or relatively high level uh, units, but you haven't upgraded your guild hall and your blacksmith. You then can't use them. Take advantage oh. of this faith fueled charity. It will not last. Awesome. So, this is the first event I've seen from this uh, All Must Burn, which gives random town events. I just assumed, being that it's Red Oak Studios, that every single town event would be negative and deck you over. But I think this would this would have been affected by what we just spoke about getting those holy relics. Look at this. All all of the All of the stress reduction events from the Abbey are free. Which means if hell if we can upgrade, we should. We don't have any uh, busts though. Cool. So who's the most stressed? Raynaud? Let me commune with the Holy Dart. He will only Oh you bastard caretaker! Get out of there. Mamino or Pico. Kind of fitting, I suppose, that the that the Hellions would flagellate. Okay, we need to try to go for a run that'll give us busts at some point. We can also do ex exchange them, but we're gonna need all these crests. Okay, stagecoach. Ooh, I'd love to get a leper. Lepers are great. Cove Tactician, Manslayer, those are awesome. Max HP kind of sucks. And minus crit is fine. Elder Chater is great. Stress Eater is fine. That's not a very good one, though. These are all good skills, though. Nope. Let's just keep upgrading great the barracks. Heroes can be found even here in the mud and rain. Crusader Trent uh, tends to be a uh, ruin specialist. I don't take them on anything else, so I'll just leave one. I like lepers. Let's. We've already got enough Hellions. Let's grab both of these lepers, I reckon. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. Just wondering if we have one, two, three. If we go with a, a no healer run and just see if we can get through another a short ruins run with very, very few bits of equipment. Why not? We have to be we have to be the Hellion because she can actually attack from position three. No, not really. If we buy, if it bleeds on her, you put the two lepers up front. 
But the Hound Master at the back. God dog. Oh yeah, we can leave him at the back and just inspire and cry all the time. Nah, that's a bit lame. I'll just a make it a short run. Arm anchored by holy purpose, a zealous warrior. Those little candles are new. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the guild needs paintings. Who's the blacksmith? He needs deeds. Need more deeds. We definitely want to get weapons and uh, armor up ASAP. What is this? Oh, yes. Where's our obelisk? She might as well hang on to those. We don't have a most martial arms or an antiquarian or an occultist yet, so we'll just hang on to those. In a pinch, I could make an argument for selling that, but I don't think it's necessary. Alrighty then, let's get back out there. Oh, hang on. That is a bloody good... Bloody good reward. Accuracy for range, stun and blight, stress damage just sucks, but wow, that, that that's that's a very, very awesome curio. Skill chance, bleed resist is pretty good as well. Grave Robert Dodge and Range, that's also good. Heals received is nice, but it only helps one person. Occultist, rubbish. Vista, rubbish. Nah. Let's do a short, shall we? Medium, medium. Ooh, long. You see, the fact that there's longs available now makes me want to take some fully equipped level 1s and just really, really go for a, a big, big level. But I think... Let's just do a short one with our level 0s. Perhaps in the cove. So we'll go with Houndmaster at the back, Crusader there, and then the two lepers up front. It will be worth investing in uh, upgrading his skills just to give him. No, he can he can inspire and cry from the back, and he can knock battle heal. All he's going to do is stay at the back and use Inspiring Cry, which is kind of a waste, to be honest. Can we use anything from, from, from position 3. Holy Lance. I think we can just... We, we can back our two lepers to do enough damage in positions 1 and 2. But it will be, will be worth grabbing Hugh on that one, then. The main focus of this run, this short one, is to spend as little as we can. What am I doing? And self heal. Bull walk of faith, he doesn't really need so much. No, we don't want to use Holy Lance because it'll put him in front of the lepers and the lepers can't do anything from the back from positions three and four. They're entirely frontline fighters. What Cry Havoc actually will do for him. The mark target is very nice. The wounds, no. Nah. This is gonna be a very, very different tactic. I've never tried before. It's probably gonna be shite. But we'll put these two at the back, just stress healing and buffing the two lepers in the front. I suspect it's not going to be very useful, mainly because uh, of the fact that they don't have any plus accuracy skills, so they're going to miss a lot. We definitely don't want them to be debuffed. They don't have any dodge anyway. Oopsie. So who has a heal? Anyone has a heal? Only the Crusader. Uh, I would use the move resist, but these two lepers are so bloody slow anyway. Max HP, not even worth it really. I could him, I suppose. 
debuff resist dodge. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll take as little as we can on the cove. It's definitely worth taking, yeah, two, at least two, three, four medicinal herbs because so many of the, uh, the curios in the in the cove let you remove negative debuffs, and they all use medicinal herbs to do so. We won't take any torch; it'll be a dark run. We'll just take two shovels, and that's it. And maybe a, a key if we come across a chest. Just a short run, so only four food. We want to spend as little as we can, of course, and that'll be it. Alrighty, so. Well, the next one, that's it. A short run in the cove. We'll see how things go. I don't think it's going to go well. <laughs> but honestly, I'm happy to get rid of these lepers or this, this second crusader if we need to. And he's only a level zero. And we're going to be cycling through the barracks now just to be getting particular classes. I want an antiquarian. I want an occultist just to see what they can do. The, the, the antiquarian mostly. We need an occultist. We need... A bounty hunter for taking down the, uh, the big bosses. So we need to start evening out the balance of our roster. We're, we're too hilly and heavy right now. Alrighty, guys, that was good fun. I got another good run. Thanks very much for watching. I'm StoryRoad for 9, and this has been Darkest Dungeon. Cheers, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching.